What's up, everyone, and welcome to this week's Generation Iron Podcast. Your host, Victor Martinez, here with Vlad Yudin, Esan Farahi, and Edward Mejia. What's going on? We're going to start off first. Uh, I got a gift. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is, this is from our loyal listeners. Yeah, first I made sure it was not from a woman, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have here, um, it says, Dear Victor Martinez, I'm writing to express my deepest appreciation for the profound inspiration you have provided me in, in my bodybuilding journey from Dr. Eric Williams. Wow. Thank Eric you, Williams. Doc. Appreciate you too. And I'm sure. What's in the sack? With your job, you're, sa you're saving nice. a lot of lives. But uh, this gift, you took the time to actually send me something. That's beautiful wrapping. Yeah, too. the wrapping alone, it's like, I want to keep the bag as a gym bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the book. It oh, is. Wow. All right. Nice. Wow. Show it to the camera, Vic. All right. Look at that. Nice. What does it say? Predictive modeling, reducing emergency, department, wait times, descriptive analysis of patients overcrowding public hospitals of Detroit, Michigan. That's a long name for a book. No, this is great. Is Wait, did he write the book? book? Is his book? Oh, he wrote the book. Oh, Eric Williams. Eric Williams. Right. Nice. There you go. That's him in the back. Look, that's his picture, right? There you go. It's him in the back right here. And uh, he looked like a Robbie Lopez. I see. I could <laughs> probably read this in a day or two in between kids pick up, but I'm um, definitely going to read it. That's a great gesture. Is he signing for it's you? It's informative. Check and the I, first page I, if he signed yeah, for you. Man, I hope he did. Did not. Oh, Doc, you forgot to sign it, Doc. What's going on? But I have to send still, it back to you, doctor, it. so you can no, sign no, it. No, no, I appreciate it. I'm sure I see you again in the circuit and uh, definitely read it and see your insight on predictive modeling, reducing emergencies and department wait times. So this is uh, great. Right. Thank you. Appreciate you. Recommend anybody to read this, get informed. And stuff. Let's do the question. You want to do the question of the day before we talk about New York Pro? Yeah, yeah. Question right, of the that. day. Yeah, so we had a great weekend here in New York at the New York Pro. And uh, as always, you know, Generation I was present. Victor was present. and We uh, all four of us are there, actually. Yeah. Yes. We had the GI crew there. It was pretty interesting. Packed house. Packed house. It's, uh, great definitely, show. I think one of the best. You know, people that want to disagree could disagree. But that obviously, this is the best show outside of the Arnold and Olympia in, the, in the USA, in my opinion. But... You know, people could judge for themselves and have their own opinions. So. It's stacked. It has the most categories. And I have to say this year, the most in shape people I've seen yes. throughout every single category. All I mean, athletes it, was in shape. Really. The athletes were yeah. not playing this year. And uh, it, it shows, it, like I saw it, and it was uh, a lot of fun being there. Let's, talk, let's do the question of the day. And then yeah, we'll talk so about the this week's question of the day comes to us from... Vincent Caballero, 6041. I've actually, I think we've uh, answered some of his questions in the past, actually. Vincent, loyal, loyal. That's what I like. Yeah. <laughs> so his question is, hey, yo, Vic, I'm sweating this oily stuff, thinking it's my heavy TRT with my, with a splash of trend. Could it be that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that, cocktail? <laughs> it's not. Uh, he, he, <laughs> with a splash. With a splash, man. <laughs> he goes on to say, he goes on to say, it's not. My Guido gel. Our uncrowned 07. Oh, bro, tell us about politics and bodybuilding. Hottie's been posting more social media. That's why he lost. He's our 24 uncrowned O oh, West Coast Guidos. So he has two questions, basically. Yeah, yeah. You took it from right <laughs> to left. Yeah, that's crazy. Middle, but... Um, so first thing is he's sweating oily stuff. Could this be his heavy TRT use? Have you ever heard of oily sweat? Oily sweat? Only when I OD on fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I, I sweat oily, unless, you know, you're having one of those oily sex se sessions, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Too much baby oil, then like you sweat oily. But um, Maybe he should see a doctor then, right? If it's I mean, oily, oily is just, I have can a lot steroids of questions. Make you, can steroids make you? Well, I have a lot of questions only because he's saying, you know, he's it's doing. It's type of the skin, oily skin, you know? Well, well, he's doing TRT with a splash of trend, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I usually, TRT? Well, I usually yeah. like my margaritas with a splash of Grand Marnier, you know, <laughs> make it a Cadillac. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um. Man, I don't know if you're doing too much TRT. <laughs> you know, it could be the trend. 
I would, you know, what was his age again? He didn't uh, mention. He, he, he says 37 years old. Oh, 37. I 37. recommend. Actually, no, wait, he's not 37. This is an old poster, but he, he didn't say. I think he's in his 30s from last time. Well, from the way you spoke, I have to say you're the late 30s, definitely up there. But um, I would, the only thing I would recommend is take out the trend, stay on the TRT, and try to see if you're still having this oily sweat. Or Maybe see you. a doctor, right? At this point, Victor can't help yeah, you with everything. Yeah, no, it's just the oily sweat. I don't, I don't know, um, again, what's your body weight, how much you weigh, how long you've been training, you know? So that could be a factor as well, you know? Yeah, that's true. So I, I don't know. How's, that, how's his diet? Yeah, how's your diet, you know? Is Maybe it, he's in keto. <laughs> Maybe he, keto with a splash of <laughs> healthy food. I don't, I don't know. A splash of pizza. Uh, what about the second part of his question? The second Tell part. Tell us about politics. Politics, Bodybuilding. I mean, he thinks Hadi lost because of politics, supposedly. I mean, again, you know, Hadi has his fan favorites. He did come in great. Um, Derek Lunsford was just, you know, superior in some poses. How he had him in some poses. Again, right. it's going to sway either way. Was this a way to make the, the Olympia more interesting? Possibly, you know, but, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and just, you know, defend Hadi's Olympia because he does have one, unlike most on Crown Mr. Olympias. So I'm not going to cry for him or bitch for him, you know. Right. But um, the politics, does it happen? Remember, it's just uh, seven judges on the panel. You're right. going to have some that are just like this body type, another crowd that likes this other body type, right. you know, at the end of the day, you know, the president of the IPB, the head judge, who does he like the most? You know, if it's the last vote is on him, he's going to go with the one he likes the most. But um, remember, it's a beauty pageant, a muscle bomb beauty pageant, you know, so he's posting more. Maybe his, his team wants him to post more, maybe because... He's coming back, you know, with his dukes up, you know. So this day and age, social media being so relevant into how you're going to affect, you know, your next boxing match. Look at the boxers now. They're all posting now yeah. leading up to the, the the fight. So you have to keep yourself interesting leading up to the fight. It's not the old 80s, 90s, early 2000s where you could just go hide away, come out compete and go hide away again. No, you have to stay relevant. You have to stay in the eyes. You have to stay connected to those, to the fan base. But um, politics, I'm not going to say here and, and say, it, you know, it's just politics. It's so many things that can work against how he not be Mr. Olympia, you know? Could it be a language barrier? But he won already, so he, that wouldn't be politics then, right? Yeah, I mean, come on. There was a lot of other guys that, 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 you know, spoke English, that been up there before him. They still didn't win it, so if it was politics, if, if they were, they played well for him when he won his first Olympia. So I, I can't say so. Um, it could be, it has been, and I'm not gonna deny it over here. So it's one of those things that, uh, um, it happens, man. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. What else? What well, was I hope the we answer, question? That was it. He had two questions. I yeah, think he answered both of them pretty two, good. Yeah, yeah. You had me all over the place. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the guy's name again? So, Vincent Caballero, are you this week's winner of the Muscle Meds Carnivore TD or Carnivore Beef Protein? Your selection. Uh, and thanks again for submitting your questions. You guys continue to submit your questions for Vic, and Vic will answer them if you get selected. All right. So New York Pro guys, that was New York Pro was man, it was. That stacked. was a good show. That was a good show. It was stacked. You had the as uh, we predicted, Nick well, won. You know, right? it was a great show. It was a really great show. However, was there were were there any real surprises? They probably weren't, but uh, it was a great show. I mean, Nick was the fan favorite to right. win, definitely. But then you had second place, Martin. Martin was just. That was a surprise. When I got to the venue, I got there for the finals, right? And, yeah. I, and I heard a few people say, oh, it's super close. It's super close. They are so super close. They're, they're, uh, they should say one point. That's I heard Nick I heard they won said that. just one point. Is that actually on the scorecard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The score is one point. So Nick, it was close then? Yeah, it's very close. But when but I... To my eyes uh, on, on stage, I didn't see that close. Yeah, Martin is beautiful uh, body because of the small waist. He's yeah. young. 
I mean, muscle, it's still, you know. When I saw Nick backstage after he did his routine, he was super confident. He was like, I'm, I, yeah. I saw his in his eyes. He knew that he was winning. Yeah, Even yeah. though they said it was close, but he yeah. was super confident. I yeah. don't think I don't think that close. in a good way. I don't think <clears throat> that close. I just say Martin had a, such a beautiful. No, he looked good, shape. but it was Nick's show to lose. You know. Yeah. It was Nick's show to lose. He uh, he missed the Olympia due to injury, <clears throat> so that that let his body kind of recover, in a way and rest. Well, he's he didn't back. do the Arnold, mm-hmm. so he came in fresh, man. He came yeah. in fresh. Came in fresh to win, and uh, Martin, I would have to say, he's somebody to look look out for in the future. Because yes. he's definitely gonna he's win, a win a few shows. Yes, he's definitely a dark horse. Um, I just hope he doesn't put on too much muscle where he starts getting too distorted. Mm-hmm. But right now he's uh, well balanced, uh, good structure, and uh, you know Martin Fitzwater. I mean, he's in Mr. Olympia. He won. He won two weeks ago on the show, uh, I believe. Oh, what was it? Two weeks ago before Pittsburgh. It was the Pittsburgh. And before the, Pittsburgh, he won. He won before Pittsburgh. Yeah, so he got a, a qualification. Yeah, he Olympia. has a qualification for Mr. Yeah, Olympia. Yeah. So, no matter what, we saw Martin in Mr. Olympia. But I have a question for you: If Nick comes to Arnold, exactly same body, what place he get? Um, Nick, <laughs> compare with who? Compared to Hardy, Samson, the top, the top of the yeah. top. It's top just, of top. Yeah, Hardy. Hardy's just right now. From the time I saw Hardy. And seeing Nick now, I mean, Nick still has a little bit more conditioning, and his condition was, you know, supreme. Mm-hmm. But Hadi is just uh, different level. Yeah, yeah. Hadi comes in crazy. So, so how about Samson? How about Samson? Nick, uh, Samson's Nick, condition is still not there. Nick next to the Samson. Nick will probably would the same way he came in this weekend. Yeah, yeah he would have crushed him. Yeah. Yeah, Who cru- would Nick would have crushed Nick him. Nick crushed yeah. Samson. Yeah, he would have crushed Samson. Do you Had think he. judges want Nick to be bigger or more conditioned for the for the Olympics? More conditioned. Really? He has Not a lot bigger? of muscle. Right. Yeah. Just, he ha- he carries a lot of muscle. He's right. thick. But I saw recent Im- images or, or, or video of Long- Derek Longsford. He, he got even bigger, I thought. He he's off season. Yeah. So he just started. But still as in right shape. Now, I thought he was still in shape. Yeah. As a right well, now, he started for Mr. Yeah. Olympia. I think Martin Fitzgerald has a huge future because the guy's waist was like so small. Yeah. yeah. And he was so, so dialed in, in my opinion. I mean, I know it probably wasn't close at the end of the finals, but he looked, he looked real. I saw him backstage yeah. and he looked crazy. Yeah. He looked like. No, it was for a, definitely, for uh, you know, then you have Big Stu, he came back, and uh, Tony as well. Yeah, Tony you know. was good too. Yeah, yeah, Tony, Tony was. That's the, he did a crazy good. routine, right? Remember his yeah. routine with the music? That yeah. Was, yeah, that was good, man. Tony, Tony, was, Tony yeah. has a beautiful physique. Yeah, but Martin just uh, snuck up there, you know, he knocked out, you know, Big Stu from last year. Yeah. And uh, but these guys are still they're still young they're still young. Tony needs a little ball sweep of the legs. For yeah. The and hamstring. Yeah, a little if, bit more. If you catch up legs of lower body to upper body. Upper well, he's got that good muscle. He's got that yeah. good mature muscle. So any he puts on an ounce is gonna be a, it's yeah. gonna look like a pound, you know. Yeah. So because do you think he Nick has that quality? Do you think Nick will potentially win Olympia this year, or do you think he's still got a, a couple of, or more time to go? He need time. Well, you think so? Yeah. Well, I, well, I yes. can't really say so. I mean, it's the Olympia. I mean, it's yeah. it's the it's the um what is the honey show? Honey show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the honey show. So you know he's got. You mean you mean a honey honey or a honey rambo show? <laughs> no, it's a honey it's a rambo show because he has honey Derek and, and uh, Hadi. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's it's one of those. I mean, is Nick can Nick sneak in? Of course, you know. But is it gonna happen? I mean, how, you know, the focus he's gotta have, the mindset. I just hope he holds it steady all the way through. The one know? thing uh, Drake Lansford has, which is uh, Hardy don't have, Drake start to get three D muscle. Yeah. Special from the back. Yes. That looks like exactly like a Phil hits. 2011, you know, 2012, yes. Yeah. Pops out after 3D. Yeah. So Hardy, yeah, his Hardy is wide, Hardy is thick, but yeah. he doesn't have that 3D look. Yeah. Somebody said Especially that recently. Somebody said Derek Lungsford is a new Phil Heath, body wise. Uh, Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler. He said, said that, right? Yeah, he said yeah, that. Yeah, okay. And the so. last podcast, he said that. But 
the that offseason look we saw in Pittsburgh um, from uh, yeah. Drake Lonsford, I believe he going to the four or five Mr. Olympia back to back in a row. Yeah, in a row. As long as he doesn't try to put on more muscle, because now yeah. he's got and, that. Yeah, and, and he has a line. smart and he has a smart coach. Honey is very yeah. smart. He has a good eye. I think he knows how to preserve them yeah. and keep them, you know, steady. Yeah, where they keep, you know, staying in shape. But we, we but Hadi doesn't sleep. Hadi is looking uh, everyone from the far, and yeah. he's like a shadow. We, we don't know what's going on with Hadi. I know. And he has everything. He has to just come as on point, like 2022. Yes. I mean, yeah. judging on Nick's performance this past weekend, do, would you put him up there in the top three? I, yes, I would. I would Me put too. him up there. I mean, from the whole lineup. And again, who's going to be the dark horses this year? You know, is... is is, will Akeem be able to come back? Is Martin going to vindicate himself at the Olympia? He's going to keep a steady, you know, mindset to go in. So it's going to be interesting, this Olympia, especially being in Vegas, man. Come yeah. On. And this is the 60 years. 60 yeah, years, yeah. man. This is the 60 yeah, years of Mr. Olympia. How are they going to change it up? Let's see what happens. Let's see what Jake Wood brings on. Do you yeah. guys want to talk about the classic physique uh, competitors? The classic, or? man. was probably one of my favorite. Um, these guys look great. I, I like uh, my friend Eric. Got second, you know, he used to do uh, physique. He looked great. But um, the overall winner was um, Matthew. Matthew. Matthew looked great. Matthew was amazing. Um, I always liked Matthew's physique starting when I first saw him. Yeah. Um, he's got a great physique. He's definitely classic all the way. Yeah. He, you he's know, working with uh, Chris Acido. Yeah. I, I just want to see more of the classic. And it's one of the things I always uh, say is uh, it is classic. I just want to see a little bit better transitioning on the guys when they show their physiques, you know, up yeah. on that stage, you know, a little bit, a better flow and just have a more classic look, you know, but. Um, we don't have a classic wide. All yeah. classic people, you know, you know the just Chris Pompson is wide. Yeah. We don't have a, we don't have any classic just luck. Like Chris Pompson wide. Yeah. Why? More pull-ups, guys. More pull-ups. More, pull <laughs> <laughs> More pull-ups, not lap pull-down. More pull-ups. What do you guys think about Urs, the classic, you know, one of the best classic guys? What, he's Urs hinting, is the man. He's Miracle hinting. Bear. Or is the bear? He, he's hinting that he might go to open. Have you heard that? Was it going to hint? He said it. Some, I, some, I hear he, that. He yeah. can. He's big enough. He's getting big, too. He's getting bigger. You think it's a good I idea? I saw him next week, last week, on uh, next to the open uh, on Pittsburgh uh, stage. He looks good, actually. He doesn't small next to the open people. He looks and big. Next to yeah. He need he need he need more he need more weight and muscle. A bit more muscle tissue on his yeah. frame because uh, he's been holding that physique look. And eventually, you gotta remember, yes, these guys do are doing classic physique, and uh, eventually, you keep training, you keep eating, you're gonna get bigger. Yeah, the size is gonna come. You know. I think he don't. His problem is not just weight or category. His problem is posing. He has a beautiful shape and physique, but he's posing as a, you know, his physique is classic. When the, your physique is classic, right. you don't have to standing or posing as a classic. You're, you're classic. You don't need to be twisted or waist. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Especially presentation. Your, yeah, yeah, presentation. presentation. He need he need a real he need a good eye and to fix his posing. If he fixes his posing, he's dangerous in the classic. And he's a Bria Ainsley keeps talking three. about going to a different division too, right? Bria Ainsley yeah, keeps Breon, saying. Yeah, I think he wanted to do what? The Open as well? 2-12. Two, 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 yeah, two, yeah two, I think so. Bria would be great for it. Who's the biggest you star know? in 212 right now? Sean Correa. Sean Correa yeah, is the biggest Sean, star. Sean right? the biggest. Yeah. 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 Man, that 212 class, I, I say the top five look crazy at the New York Pro. At New York Pro. <laughs> all of them. Like, it all was like a toss-up, man. But all these guys look great. Good conditioning. Yeah, great conditioning. And, uh, you know, and the bikinis, I mean, they all look great. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no need to get into that. Uh, what am I looking at? What am I looking at here? <laughs> but it was just, uh, I'm just proud to see uh, one of the Dominicans got up there. Who was that? Yeah, uh, Ramos. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she got second. That was great. How did... Uh, Speaking of, you said Dominicans. How did how did the Justin Rodriguez? How did he do? What did I don't he know. place? What did he place, Vic? You what know? Justin Rodriguez place? Um, I, he didn't get the top five. No, uh -huh. no, he didn't no, get the didn't. top five. I didn't see the place. All I have is the top five here. I didn't get to see any of it. But um, Justin, 
He did improve. He came a little bit better, but still had to be drier in the glutes hamstring area, you know, and also his midsection he still has to hold it in a little bit yeah. more. But um, other than that, he's he's got freaking size. I saw him standing next to Nick on the lineup. Yeah, he's yeah. huge. Look no different, yeah. really, yeah. you know. He needs conditioning. Yeah. But yeah. the problem for him, if you go to that oh. level of conditioning, he'll lose the swap of the legs. It's I, a little bit tricky for him. Yeah, I mean, if he just – Stop switching coaches. I think you'll yeah. have somebody to kind of, yeah. you know, recognize. Before we move to the next topic uh, for for Urs, do you think you you guys think it's a good idea for him to go to Open this year or no? Urs, this yeah. year? Yeah. No. no, not this year, not yet. But Eventually, he, he could definitely do Eventually, great yeah. in the Open. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I wanna but, I wanna shout out to Ashley, Lint, L- Lynette Jones, the first woman bodybuilder. In the New York Pro, oh my freaking god! Yeah, he no, is, she uh, came in she, great. She is a that person Beast. can can talk in Mr. Olympia. She's a short tank, great physique, great conditioning. She was amazing, and she come from nowhere. <laughs> wow. Well, there's a lot of exciting events happening this past week, and I mean, I know we covered. We cover a lot of gym fails as well, and I think you guys saw that. You Did you see that, that video? We're going to put it out for the audience to see. The guy in a powerlifting, I guess it was a competition, he almost literally crushed his head. Oh, my God. Yes, I saw it. it it's, uh, I don't it's know. It's a school competition, right? Huh? It looked like it, yeah. It looked like, yeah, it, looked like it was in college or somewhere. Yeah. I think the bar got his, like, the bars that came out of the thing got him on the head a little bit. Yeah, I think it crushed him a little bit. I just hope uh, he didn't get a skull cru- uh, fracture or anything. Skull crush. Well, skull crush, crusher. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I hope he didn't get a fracture in there. But um, Yeah, it's terrible. I don't know. I think they need to, I think, organize these guys better where they have, you know, kind of somebody, uh, better spotters hanging around. So what happened if that weird landing is his head? It, it would have died, I think, right? It would have uh, definitely it would've <laughs> cracked his skull. He would have had some... Like definitely plates. brain swelling and it would have been a mess so again, literally a mess probably we only see the short clip so yeah. anybody out there knows him Send us anything the full clip. yeah give us a little uh feedback if he's okay what happened the follow-up on this because that looked freaking gnarly that's, <laughs> have that's you seen crazy. a crazy accident in the gym ever uh my friend tearing both his quads at the same time at the same time oh. yeah, yeah. Wow. On the leg press. Not even on the squat. What? At the leg press? Yeah, yeah. It was oh heavy. My God. It wasn't that heavy either. So know? what happened? Uh, well, well, first of all, I think he he took a shot on his quads too close to the knees. Oh, and that created inflammation to the knees. So he basically his muscle didn't recover enough so he can get on the leg press. Oh my God. So that I guess created a weaker tendon and by the time he tore one patella try to hold the weight up with the one that was good and then that tore the other one the weight came down it's uh that's terrible man no he's good now though he's, he's doing good. backyard fighting now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually is he's doing backyard fighting yeah Spe- mixed martial arts speaking of backyard yard fighting did you see Tyson fury lose oh, oh my man. god that was crazy but he was that winning was a- he was winning all the rounds and I, it was I don't close know. i felt it was close that was close but that one round look at this after 25 years we have a heavy champion boxing yeah. with the four belts crazy yes. how about that crazy yes, four belts and but, four um, belts hanging with the grandpa yeah but <laughs> but who, who was his referee working for man where's he from man is it you, 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 you don't think tyson deserved to lose that one i mean for one round i was literally watching you know all the rounds the only round I didn't watch was because we were at the New York Pro. Mm-hmm. Was it the same time as the New York Pro? <laughs> yeah, we were at the New York Pro and it was all going on. And I think we got there. I think it was already round six. And he was winning so many uppercuts. He was sneaking in so many uppercuts. He was wearing him down. I think but all his hits were just kind of taps. And I think the strategy was to wear him down. In the ninth round, the guy just unleashed on him. Man. He hit him with he hit him with the left, I think, and then yeah. he wobbled immediately after that. Yeah. It was hard. That was last. It was a hard I punch. Know. I don't know, but Tyson Fury, I don't know if he had the condition though to go. He the never hold. looks like he has a condition. He lost a lot of yeah. weight. <laughs> <laughs> he never but, looks like he comes in well. He's a beast, though, man. He lost he lost a lot of weight for this show. 
He lost at least 20 pounds. He was still like... (laughs) 20 pounds. (laughs) He was still like... He he was 260 pounds, I think, right? 30 pounds heavier than the other guy. Yeah. Yes. He's 6'9". He's 6'9". The other guy is 6'2". Yeah. Yeah. No, these guys were freaking monsters, man. But um, I don't know. I mean... To just call the fight, but it the was a standing guy, knock. Yo, isn't, it funny that, isn't that funny that Tyson Fury is 6'9", and weighs the same, or even less than like a pro bodybuilder <laughs> who can be like 5'7"? <laughs> That's we, funny, right? You know what it is, is they say muscle weighs more than fat. There you go. Exactly. You know. <laughs> I'm not calling him fat, though. <laughs> you kind of are, but, <laughs> but Tyson Fury is the beast. I can't believe he lost. Nah, he had, he had was, a streak of... of he was man. the favorite, and I think, uh, Definitely. you know... For everybody out there that always goes for the favorite, you know, there's nothing like a good underdog story. All right, guys. Uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Eric Williams, for the book. I appreciate it. And uh, thank everybody for joining us in this week's podcast. Please, you want to see any of our prior podcasts, tune into iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you stream your podcast. Thank you. No, stop, 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 stop. Who are you? I'm the guy that's going to change your life. Introducing Carnivore, 100% beef protein, zero sugar, and lactose free, which means it's not going to upset your stomach like this. You got to try this. Best part about it is beef builds muscle, so you're going to grow. I'm just going to take this away. You don't need this, man.